welcome back to my channel so today we are doing a makeup tutorial and let me tell you guys i am really feeling this look i'm very very proud of it so yeah recently did a collaboration with becky g and you know me i gotta support my fellow latina and why am i talking so fast but yeah so she came out with this whole entire collection and I got the whole thing. I got all the lipsticks, the highlights, and the palette. I'm really, really, really loving the palette, you guys. It was only 18 bucks and it comes with a mirror and all the shadows are great. I blended them, no problem. Pigmented. I mean, they do have a little fallout when you're like picking it up, but I mean, that's normal, I guess. But for 18 bucks, this is so freaking bomb. Like, I am so in love and I love the look. And you know, I did a little pop of blue because my friend told me she requested that I use this blue. So that's where it's going, bitch. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, but either way, I love how the entire look came out. I also used one of the lipsticks in the collection. This one is called Miha. It's more of the nude that she has in there because a lot of them are like kind of like reds and browns and I always use the highlight not too crazy about the highlights but the palette is bomb so these are both the highlights in the collection there's one called Chisme and there's one called Princesa right yeah and they're all like luster dust loose powder highlighters I guess that's maybe like a thing I haven't bought anything from Colourpop in a long while while but you know I'm trying to keep up with my channel so I gotta buy shit to like put out you know this shit ain't cheap, okay? It's not, it's not cheap keeping up a YouTube, a YouTube channel when you ain't getting shit for free. <laughs> Alright, so this one is the one I'm wearing on right now on my highlight, my nudes, and I also did it on my brow bone. Usually I like to use a highlight for my brow bone highlight. Like I don't like to use a shadow from a palette. So that's usually what I go for. And then this one is the other one which is called... Chisme. I think this one's more on like the pinker side and I don't I, I'm more of like a frosted kind of like highlight and like golden highlights like that's kind of my thing if I can get this paper out you guys Chisme. I'm just gonna like throw some on my oh yeah this one oh actually this one's more golden too I kind of like this one too um I feel like um, the highlights are like whatever to me because I'm just so in love with my Amrezy highlighter that I just like, I'm whatever about it. But I did use it and I did like it. So I got all the lipsticks. This one is, the one I'm wearing is called Miha. Like I said, it's more of the nude-ish one. Chola, I think. Then I have Chola, which is like, you know, the color that Chola's wear, like dark brownish. Ugly ass swatch, but there you go, that's Chola. Um... It looks like a maroon kind of brown, like a little bit of red in there, a little bit of brown, something along those lines. I don't have a lot of red, so I got this one, which is Besame, which I don't have a lot of red, so that's good for me because, you know, a bitch needs some red in her collection. Ooh, that's a bright red. See, I don't fuck a lot. Fuck a lot. <laughs> I don't fuck around with reds a lot because I just feel like they make my teeth look yellow. Um... But we'll see because, you know, I want to try new stuff. I can't get always with the, I'm always with the nudes and the lip gloss and stuff. So, you know, it's good to kind of like add more to your collection and kind of like see what works. Because even like in my, in my vlog, when that girl from that beauty con thing put that like um, purplish fuchsia color on me, like that's not really me, but I really liked how it looks. So I was like, you know, I need to try more stuff. And this one is Secreto. This one's like another like kind of nude, but it's more of a darker nude. So, you know, that one's cute too. That one you can use a lot too for like every day, you know. And then this one is Floor. This one I can't really tell what kind of color it is. I'm guessing it's like an orangish. It's like a rusty orange. Yeah, it's probably something I won't wear. So, I mean, I don't know when I'm gonna wear that, <laughs> but I might give it to my sister. All right, but those are the colors from the collection <laughs> when it comes to the lips. But overall, you guys, I'm really, really pleased, um, especially with the eyeshadow palette. Like, I really, really liked it. Um, and yeah, and I overall like this whole look. And, you know, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. I am working on uploading at least once a week. So that's my goal, especially for 2019, because... I need to get on my shit, you know? 
I've been telling myself this for years and this year I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna be consistent and you know I'm gonna upload because I want to upload and this is fun <laughs> so yeah so yeah you guys just keep watching uh, ah fuck guys I'm so stupid okay so yeah you guys if you guys want to see how you get this look just keep on watching and that's it so first of all, I primed my face, I already did my eyebrows, and I primed my eyelids with some concealer. Um, I'm using the Master Prime by Maybelline, the blur one. I really like this one, I've been using it for quite a bit now, and it's pretty good for a drugstore um, primer. And I'm using the Salvaje palette, and I'm going in with the shade, chingas madre, I don't know the shade number. Well now that I got myself together, it's the shade Caramelo. And I'm just kind of blending that into my crease. It's a light toppy shade, which is most of the time what I like to put into my crease. And this is just going to help everything blend out smoothly. So I always use the Sigma E40 brush. I've been using this brush for years, you guys. I'm telling you, if you're looking for a good brush, it's this one. And then I'm going in with the color Mal Malbec. Malbec, that's Malbec. Like mal bricky? Is that what that means? <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm also blending that right into my crease, just back and forth. And I kind of concentrate it more in the outer corner and kind of bringing it in because I really want like a deep outer corner with a kind of like lighter inner crease. So I'm kind of like just, I start from the outer corner and I bring it back into my inner corner just to create that kind of like nice darker out outer V and then, you know, kind of blending it back in. So as you can see, I just go in a few times. I didn't. I actually really like the shadows. They were easy to blend. Um, I just packed it on a couple of times, but I usually do that with all shadows. And then I'm going in with the color Sangria, which is a like reddish brownish. And I'm taking my Elena Bradro um, brush, which is like kind of like a 217 from Mac. I I don't know what if they named these her brushes or whatever. I don't know. I randomly picked up this brush ones when I went to um, Nigel beauty emporium and i just been using it because it's good and then i just kind of pack on that sangria color right into my outer corner and then just bringing it back in like i did with the other shades but this one's kind of more concentrated into like that eye socket just to kind of deepen everything up then i take this lighter shade which is the color lola and i just kind of wanted to create a little bit more smoothness at the top kind of a little bit more of transition up there so I just kind of like blended that to buff out the edges on top then I'm going to go in with concealer to kind of carve out my crease and that's what's really gonna give it like that nice kind of like creasy effect I've been liking to do this I've been getting better at it because when I first started I freaking sucked at trying to cut my crease with concealer but now I'm getting way better at it so you know we working and then yeah, so as I do that, I'm going to go in after with the shade um, Celosa. Oh, my my main shade to, like, describe me. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, but, yeah, this is, like, just a really sparkly. I think that's it. Yeah, that's the shade I use, right? I want to say, yeah. It's definitely Celosa that I use, and I just packed that onto my crease. It was kind of, like, a little bit weird at first because my I put too much concealer so it's kind of still wet so um don't go too heavy on the concealer you just need to make sure that you carve out that crease but try and go lightly on the concealer so you don't kind of get like a little bit of a messy kind of clumpy thing that I was had going on for a second but I worked it out and then I take the color I think it was Malbec and Sangria again right into that outer corner just to kind of make sure that it's blended really nicely in there and I also make it a little bit darker with the color Cafecito which is that one right here so I kind of take that right into my outer corner as well just to kind of deepen it up and make it a little bit more darker in that outer corner and I actually really liked how this entire look came out so I'm very 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 proud of it from the same collection for highlight on my brow bone, I'm going in with the shade Princesa. Um, I usually like a, like a really bright brow bone highlight, so I usually use a highlight for that. I don't use an eyeshadow or anything because I think highlights always look better. Um, not too crazy about this highlight, but um, it works, so <laughs> that's all that matters. Then I'm going in with this House of Lashes Lashes, which I believe, I don't know the style at the moment, but a 
right after I put those on, I go in with my Milani and my Luminesque L'Oreal foundation, which is like I've been mixing both of them together to kind of get my look. You know, I've been liking mixing those for my foundation because I don't like, a, like, I like a little bit of coverage, but I also like some glow, so I kind of been, like, working with that. And then I'm using my yellow corrector as concealer, which is, like, what I like to use a lot because I couldn't find my naked skin concealer, otherwise it would have seen this one, but I couldn't find it, so, you know, I go with the next best thing. And then I just blend that out with my beauty blender as I always do. Um, I usually never actually use brushes anymore unless I'm in a hurry when it comes to concealer and foundation because I just like the consistency of a beauty blender. And then um, I go and set that with my Laura Mercier translucent powder which is my go-to, my fave, my number uno, my everything like translucent powder will make a big difference on how your face makes on your face mates how your face looks because trust me I've tried other ones and then I'm going in with Bahama Mama to contour so I just kind of take that I'm not too crazy about this bronzer it's just the only one I have at the time so you know remind me you guys that I need to pick up some new bronzers otherwise you're gonna be seeing the same bronzer for like tons and tons of makeup tutorials but si no les molesta pues a mi también no me molesta and then after I finish contouring, I think I gave myself a, like a five minute break or something so I can bake. And then I come back and I just kind of toss everything out of my face because I need to do the rest of my makeup. And then at a request from my friend Gossia, <laughs> she said, I request this blue. So you know what, girl? I gave you some little blue in there in the inner corner of my eye. And I actually thought it looked really, really pretty with it. So I was like, yay, that looks so pretty. I was so excited. And then I just pop in some mascara to kind of blend the lashes. Um, And yeah. Then I take um, the sh the same shadows that I usually use on my crease or my outer corner, like the darker colors are usually the ones that go under my, under my, what's that called? My lower lash line. And then I take NARS, this NARS blush, which I think is orgasm because that's the only NARS blush I have. And then I take the same highlight, which was um, Princesa, and I put that onto my cheekbone as you can see it's okay it's not like the worst highlight of life but it's also like not like the best you know like it's cute or whatever and then I put that there and on my nose too just to kind of you know give me a little illusion that I'm like you know glowing over there and then I take the lip liner by MAC called Boldly Bear, which by the way is the perfect match to the shade Niha. So I actually did a really good job there. I didn't want to change up the lip color that much, but Boldly Bear for sure hits right on the mark to like Miha. And then um that's the shade I'm gonna use, which is Miha <laughs> Pendeja. And then um then I just go ahead and put that all over my lips like so. I actually really like this shade. It's like a a peachy nude. So I don't have a I don't have a shade like this, I think. I have a lot of nudes, but not like a peachy nude. Because they're all different. All the nudes are different. And then after that, I just set my face. And then this look is over. And I hope you guys liked it. And please subscribe to my channel. Bye.